prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural number. In this question, we are given an inequality and we need to prove it by using the principle of mathematical induction. So let's proceed with the solution. Let the given statement be Pn that is here we have Pn such that 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square and in our first step we'll check whether this inequality holds true or not for n equal to 1. For n equal to 1 we have 2 into 1 plus 7 is less than 1 plus 3 whole square. That is here we have 2 into 1 is 2, 2 plus 7 is 9 is less than th 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 square is 16. Since 9 is less than 16, therefore we will say that P1 is true. Here P1 is true for the given statement and in our second step that is our assumption step we will assume that p of k is true for some positive integer k. Assume that p k is true for some positive integer k. That is here we have p k such that 2 into k plus 7 is less than k plus 3 whole square. Let us call this relation as 1. Now in our last step we shall try to prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. Now we shall prove that we shall prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. Therefore we need to show that p of k plus 1 is such that twice of k plus 1 plus 7 is less than k plus 1 plus 3 whole square. Well we will now try to get this from our first result that is from 1 we have 2k plus 7 is less than k plus 3 whole square. Now to make the left hand side of this inequality and now if you see the left hand side of this inequality you will have 2k plus 2 plus 7 and this is nothing but 2k plus 9. So to make the left hand side of this inequality equal to 2k plus 9 we need to add 2 on both sides of this inequality. Now adding 2 on both sides to get 2k plus 9 on left hand side. Now we have 2k plus 7 plus 2 is less than k plus 3 whole square plus 2. This is equal to 2k plus 9 is less than k square plus 6k plus 9 plus 2 and now we can write this 2k plus 9 as 2 times of k plus 1 plus 7 and now it is resembling the left hand side of p of k plus 1 is less than k square plus 6k plus 9 plus 2 is 11. Now that we have made the left hand side of this inequality equal to that of p of k plus 1 we will now move ahead and check whether the right hand side is equal or not. So here we have k plus 1 plus 3 whole square this is equal to k plus 4 whole square which in turn is equal to k square plus 8k plus 16 and since k is a natural number Therefore, we can say that k square plus 6k plus 11 must be less than k square plus 8k plus 16. Since k is a natural number and therefore we'll have k square plus 6k plus 11 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16. Therefore, we can write twice of k plus 1 plus 7 is less than k square plus 6k plus 11 is less than k square plus 8k plus 16 and now we can write twice of k plus 1 plus 7 is less than k plus 4 whole square actually k square plus 8k plus 16 is the expanded form of k plus 4 whole square so we have 
twice of k plus 1 plus 7 is less than k plus 4 can be written as k plus 1 plus 3 whole square therefore p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true hence from the principle of mathematical induction the statement pn is true for all natural number n so this completes our solution